Thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Here's an interesting statistic. This headline states nearly half of the 5 million veterans that were screened for toxic exposure found to have potential toxic substance exposure. So, that's a lot. Two and a half million. So, I wanted to dive into this, share this with you. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. Look, if this doesn't apply to you, I get it, but hit that thumbs up. Let the video run for a little bit so it can go into one of our brothers or sisters' hands who actually need to know about this information. We'll see if we can pick up any nuggets along the way, and uh, I'll give you my two cents here and there. All right, so jumping into it, uh, this is on The Hill, and uh, again, the headline was, Nearly half of 5 million veterans screened found to have potential toxic substance exposure. Nearly half of the 5 million veterans that have been screened by the Department of Veterans Affairs under a new law have reported at least one possible exposure to toxic, to toxic substances during their military service. Announcing the 5 million screening milestone, the VA revealed that 2.1 million veterans, or 43% of those screened, were potentially exposed to such substances during their services. A variety of toxic exposures can come up in these screenings, but the most common were exposures to burn pits and Agent Orange because that's the target audience, right? That's, I mean, if you really think about it, who are you, who are you wanting to get there? You're wanting to get those two groups. So, of course, that's going to be the most. Exposure to burn pits and other airborne hazards that can be encountered during military service can cause a variety of cancers, including those affecting the brain, neck, kidneys, and pancreas. Agent Orange is a herbicide that was used during the Vietnam War. It can cause bladder cancer, blood cancers, Parkinson's disease, and birth defects. The screenings were launched as part of the PACT Act, a 2022 law that expanded benefits for veterans who were exposed to toxic substances. The VA secretary said in a written statement that the screenings are aimed at improving health care and detecting potential health challenges as early as possible. Now, I will tell you that's the end of this article. Let me see, make sure. Yes, it looks like it. All right. So that's it. Now, here's the big thing. Look, if you served overseas and were exposed to burn pits or agent or not even, you don't even need to know that you were exposed. Just be there. If you were there and you have a presumptive condition that's listed you need to file for that. Presumptive conditions eliminate your need to prove that the military either caused the condition or that your condition manifested during your time in service, right? So it eliminates that. All you need to say is, here's proof that I have this presumptive condition, X, right? Let's say that it's high blood pressure for Vietnam, right? Or rhinitis uh, for uh, burn pits, uh, for, for Gulf War stuff. So. Here's my proof that I have this condition. Here's proof that I served there in one of the designated areas outlined on the VA's website of the timelines, right? From here to here in any of these locations, right? Um, if you did serve there and you have that condition, the VA will grant you that condition as a service connected. Now, that's great. Go for it and get it done. The sooner the better. You may have been denied in the past, and that's okay because this new presumptive overshadows that prior denial. Very easy to do. So I already know that you know millions of people have filed claims, but this is for that one person that didn't, right? So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one, and remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.